Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings and this is the Kenton MIDI USB Host Mark II. If you're looking to connect two MIDI devices together without using a computer, you could just use two MIDI DIN cables. But what if one of your devices only has a MIDI USB port? The Yamaha PSR S670 Arranger is a typical example of a modern keyboard that has a MIDI USB port but no MIDI DIN sockets. The MIDI USB port on a keyboard needs to be connected to a MIDI USB host, which is typically only found on a computer. But there are a few MIDI USB host boxes available on the market, and they do the same thing. The Kenton MIDI USB Host Mark II comes in a stylish metal case. Also comes with its own power supply and a power supply cable. It also comes with several different plug adapters. On one side it's got a port for plugging in the power supply. On the other side it's got a MIDI USB port and two MIDI DIN sockets. One of the sockets marked in and the other one marked out. But it's worth noting it doesn't come with any MIDI DIN cables or a MIDI USB cable. So what can the Kenton MIDI USB Host Mark II do? Here I've connected a Yamaha PSR S670 using the Kenton MIDI USB Host Port to a Roland Juno DI using a MIDI DIN cable connected to the Kenton MIDI Out socket and the Roland Juno DI MIDI In socket. And here I've connected a Yamaha PSR S670 using the Kenton MIDI USB host port to a Vortex Wireless 2 using a MIDI DIN cable connected to the Kenton MIDI in socket and the Vortex Wireless 2 MIDI DIN out socket. And finally, here I've connected the Roland Juno DI using a MIDI DIN cable connected to the MIDI DIN in socket on the Roland Juno DI to the Kenton MIDI DIN out socket and plugged the Vortex Wireless 2 wireless dongle into the Kenton MIDI USB host port. <laughs> After some weeks of use, I can confirm that the Kenton MIDI USB Host Mark II has been completely reliable and has worked exactly as it should do, with no noticeable lag. One thing that I would point out, the surface of the metal casing does seem to be easily scratched. So, I wonder whether the, the writing on it is going to um, not look quite so pretty after a few gigs. Um, and I'm not sure how well the casing will stand up to being crushed in bags or in between gear when it's being moved around. But I haven't actually had the opportunity to take it out on the road so I'm, I don't know about that one at the moment. And although there are cheaper alternatives on the market, they probably work equally as well. So I do think the price is a tad high. I do really like this product. So yes, 
I think the Kenton MIDI USB host Mark II is worth buying. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.